ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶ್ವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವಯಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನರುತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣೋಪದೇಶಿ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರೋ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಕುಮುದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಿಬೌತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಶಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕಣಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೇತಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಶತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಥಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿಪೇನ ಸದ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮಗಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಸೇದ ಸಂವಿಂಹಂ ಭಜೆ 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Dharmanyaya Vavasthayam Karanam Balamevi Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Dharman Dharmanaya Viva Bevasthayam Karanam Balamevahi Gorya Gostipati Sisra Bhakti Shidanto Gorya Gostipati Shila Bhakti Sansaraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagad Guru told that Jiva always uh, have they are just reading hundreds of Shastras and uh, they are just uh, going on their fanciful mood and uh, without with that they will not get their actual uh, mangal they will in the name of their actual happiness what they are thinking they will just go in the way of distressfulness and unhappiness uh, it is not at all possible for the bonded soul so this is the condition of bonded soul Prabhupada actually speaking that that the topmost uh, what is the topmost way what is the topmost uh, alternative to get rid of all this Prabhupada speaking that to get uh, Mati in Krishna to get to get Preeti towards Krishna to get uh, Mati under the lotus feet of uh, Krishna so you just have to just uh, get this kind of desire the those who persons who are just getting uh, actually they are the topmost uh, persons who like to get mangal of the whole material world actually in in the lot of uh, the riddra narayan seva dog seva cat seva lot of uh, horse seva actually this is going on in this material world they are all busy in that all the time like i will they are just giving water to cats and dogs they are giving uh, they are giving uh, some grains to the birds giving uh, water to the dog they are thinking that it is actually the absolute happiness uh, that pathway but they don't know actually that that uh, to get uh, mati under at under the lotus feet of krishna that is the topmost uh, absolute happiness if someone is giving us uh, some uh, praiseful attitude towards us then that is actually good for material world but all those material people actually are going for some horse seva some dog seva some cat seva some bird seva and they are just running for they are also say, saying daridra narayan seva that narayan is daridra is fallen you can see narayan can be fallen narayan cannot be fallen that uh, uh, he is infinity brahmand uh, king that narayan who who is actually the uh, fountain head of all the Aishwarya? Actually, these Mayavadi people just made him Daridra Narayan. That Narayan is actually fallen. Who who actually just like a beggar you can see on the path uh, on the road. So Narayan is just compared to that. That you are just uh, you are just giving clothes to others and just give uh, food and uh, confectionery things to others. Okay, you can do this. Just give them prasadam just just give prasadam to all those poor people if you have that prasadam then only you can give if you don't have the will to give the prasadam then don't give if uh, you are just giving food for life you are just uh, making uh, some food in the name of prasadam you are just giving food for life that is actually not kripa just by giving them some food that is actually not prasadam their father also can't cook that kind of prasadam so how they can distribute prasadam they have money so that's why they are just doing kitchen and they are just giving to others they are actually giving just normal food to the people but in their society prasadam this name is not there because they haven't taken a prasadam on their own so what they can distribute 
सो दिस दरिद्र फॉलो नारायण सेवा यू शुड डू एंड इन हॉस्पिटल यू शुड गिव मेडिसन एंड यू लाइक दिस यू डू सेवा ओके बट दिस भक्ति वॉट वस्तु इज दिस इज नॉट डेट एट डेट चीप भक्ति इज नॉट दैट चीप दिस वर्ड वर्ड भक्ति इज नॉट दैट चीप दिस इज द टॉप मोस्ट ज्वेल भगवान एक्चुअली कैन गिव एवरी थिंग टू द पर्सन एंड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू गिव एवरी थिंग ओके यू कैन टेक 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 बट बिकॉज एवरी वन इज अ बिजनेस मैन सो दैट्स वाई भगवान इज गिविंग एवरी थिंग ऑल आर बिजनेस मैन ओनली हैविंग अ बिजनेस मूड वॉट यू वॉन्ट ओके यू जस्ट टेक यू जस्ट डन डन दिस मच फॉर मी ओके यू जस्ट टेक जस्ट गिविंग प्रॉफिट लॉस टू भगवान दैट काइंड ऑफ चार्ट टू भगवान भगवान एक्चुअली इज जस्ट गिविंग दैम वॉट दे हैव सेवा दे हैव डन दे ही विल गिव इन रिटर्न बट भगवान एक्चुअली भक्ति ही डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव एट ऑल he is making a lot of patience he is just seeing in one person what is his actual mood uh, towards that person what his mood is good or not then only he will give bhakti after that only by just uh, you know uh, like you can see when you are just going to the shop and just taking one pot made of uh, sand what will happen i have uh, our previous uh, people elderly people told that you just need to see the sound tuk 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 uh, if it is going like uh, normal then that uh, earthen pot is not cracked but if the uh, voice is coming like dhop dhop then it means that it is cracked so like bhagwan krishna also all the time he is uh, so clever he is so smart that he is actually just taking the people with the full patience whether he is actually greedy or not he has some attraction for some material thing or not after that when he is uh, testing him in each and every way after that he is just got, got passed in the test then after that he is just feeling that person is feeling that everything is nothing he is a nishkinchan then only he can come to me otherwise how he will come so that why krishna krishna always take a person by giving full patience and test if uh, krishna actually giving full bhakti to that person then if bhakti is there inside that uh, jiva then he will automatically attracted towards feel attraction towards krishna i have already told the 10 days before the definition of bhakti that to give bhakti krishna actually is, is getting attracted towards that person that he is actually attracting shri krishna towards himself that is the power of bhakti bhakti is so much powerful that it is attracting krishna towards himself so you can see that krishna actually is just getting attracted uh, to that devotee that's why krishna is not at all giving bhakti to each and every one because in return of bhakti he is giving mukti okay you can take mukti you can take money you can uh, take all those things but krishna is not giving bhakti at all he is actually uh, just seeing patiently that whether he this person this individual wants bhakti or not because he is not giving uh, uh, bhakti to those fanciful persons agar if if, if this is the case that uh, bhakti will uh, krishna will give it to only to devotees then why Bhag- bhagwan actually sending shankaracharya to the world and you just go and just preach this mayavad siddhant in front of Uh, those asuras and those pakhandis that you just uh, give them a nice chatpati philosophy to them and you just give them a darshan shastra sharirik bhasha to them teach them so that they just uh, uh, feel it nice you just take a nice chutney so that they can just taste it and after that you, they are just uh, tasting it in a very nice way so that they can't get bhakti just divert it from uh, myself i don't want that all those foolish people fanciful people should come towards me towards the pathway of my bhakti because bhakti is actually amrit is actually amrit swarupa so i don't want to give that that's why shankaracharya was sent to this material world and shankaracharya actually has written different different kinds of philosophy false philosophy so that all the public all those fanciful persons can go uh, away from bhakti and our prabhupad also have with a very uh, distressful mood and happy mood having an aprakrit uh, unhappiness that uh, all these fanciful people all those mayavadis and fanciful persons they have just uh, 
they just take on the vesh of vaishnava they have just come in our sampradha in our gaudiya sampradha from then our whole sampradha is in danger so this is a very uh, right point what prabhupad is speaking nobody can speak apart from prabhupad this is a very right point what prabhupad is speaking very beautiful point that very nice uh, uh, beautiful ways they are just taking and very nice sweet they are talking and so nice behavior but inside their heart there is so hinsa so much um, jealousy and so much mayavad they are inside their heart so all the material world is going according to that in the bhakti samaj also this uh, the uh, maya devi uh, proportion is so much it is just uh, getting spread shila bhakti bolatit ko swami mara used to speak that that in the sadhu samaj also kali will also uh, spread because this is kali yug this will not uh, this will destroy everyone so be cautious about this kali kali kal kali yug always used to speak like this dharmam bhakta dharmam bhakshanti dharmagya dharmam bhakshanti adharmagya adhiruru uttamasanam so this is the actual latest thing what is going on in this kalikal prabhupad actually speaking it right that to get mati in krishna charan that is the topmost uh, praise praiseful attitude will get from uh, will get but but if is there any person who can understand it from heart that uh, yes that uh, krishna is very beautiful and i just want to go to the lotus feet of krishna and what is actually bhakti so bhakti vallabh teeth ko swami mara always used to speak this that no one want krishna no one want krishna no one want krishna everyone everyone is a uh, frauder everyone is fraud I always used to speak with the full chest up i was very much uh, happy to hear his had katha nobody wants krishna everyone is a liar nobody wants krishna no one wants krishna actually those who want krishna they will definitely get they will get him also that is the topmost thing right thing but do uh, who can understand this point who can understand that all those guru vishnu were just giving us the um, praiseful attitude all the time they are praising us they are giving us that uh, uh, aashirwad on us that you should get the mati on to lotus feet of krishna but they are actually not uh, at all uh, understanding the bonded jeevas i am just uh, just remembering one story in this case re- re- in relation to this case in south india there is one place uh, in uh, very close to narmada river there i went there actually there uh, one there is factory of of some government where all the where all the rupees notes are just uh, publishing i was just i just went there for some reason very long way back i just was going there actually i went there uh, close to the narmada river a very beautiful river there is actually one story there one person told me that there is one sadhu actually uh, across that river uh, uh, in the city of hosangabad and at the other bank of the river of narmada other side of the river there is brindachal parvat brindachal mountain is there the hills are there and in one cave of vrindavan vindachal mountain there one baba was living actually one baba was living when baba was doing what he is eating nobody knows when he is going out when he is coming in nobody knows nobody have seen that but he is actually staying in uh, that uh, cave and uh, and uh, from the city of hosangabad one very nice young man he actually didn't get any he has done lot of education but not getting any job he was just crying there and just went to that sadhu's cave and after that crying in front of sadhu but sadhu that baba actually not speaking with anyone and in vrindajal mountain he is there are lot of uh, beast and wild animals and he actually went there and just crying in front of baba in front of the cave and he was just crying so much and baba actually was being very merciful to him and he said oh what you actually want that baba speaking that actually is that person speaking you do kripa on me kripa you do, do mercy on me do kripa on me then baba sp- speaking okay okay you done kripa okay that all your uh, material sansar will get destroyed 
you will get and you will definitely see what actually is mati this material world you will understand that and your whole material sansar will get destroyed i'll give you this ashirwad so after that that uh, young man just started crying more and more he was just crying more and more and baba speaking that i have actually given you the praiseful attitude why you are now crying your whole sansar sansar material bondage will get destroyed and you will understand what is this material world and he was crying more and more why you are crying now what you want actually i don't want this attitude i don't want this praise then what kind of kripa you want actually you give me this kripa that i should get a nice job and i should uh, get a beautiful lady i should uh, marry a good woman so why you haven't told me previously that you want to die you that you want that kind of kripa to want die so this is a kapat world this whole world is kapat that's why all those kapat people we are just associating with that them all those kapat vyakti is actually just taking association of kapat vyakti taking the support of them and with that association because they have that luck like this only so with this luck they are actually going in the pathway of death automatically but according to the shastra the vichar is like this that bhagwan on to the lotus feet of krishna if we are just getting our heart then that is the topmost thing if the jivas are just going to the lotus feet of krishna to just get them into the nitya seva of krishna that is the topmost service of uh, uh, of a uh, that is a topmost parupkar you can't even understand that that to get uh, to donate krishna bhakti to the jivas that is the topmost uh, thing in this whole material world uh, in this infinity world to just give them donate just donate krishna bhakti to them and to just uh, take those bonded service uh, bonded soul to the s- lotus feet of krishna because the infinity uh, infinity uh, life infinity time of problems what they have in their life that will at automatically get released from their life and they just need to just get attracted to the lotus feet of krishna just concentrate on that because uh, all those uh, eternal parshad of bhagwan that the bhagwat bhakts are always have a very nice and peaceful heart very merciful heart they have they they are always doing uh, this kind of uh, parupkar to all the jivas so that if some girl or that uh, the mind of that uh, uh, of that boy should also get attracted to krishna everyone should get attracted to krishna so prabhupad actually used to speak prabhupad actually used to speak he is actually uh, the topmost devil who is actually is the cleverest of all the cleverest persons more clever than the the cleverest person he is the topmost clever person so he is always uh, actually busy in just uh, how to divert the one's person mind and heart towards uh, hari bhajan that is the duty of a bhagavad bhakt so to understand bhagwan to understand bhagwan that is the topmost gyan and to get bhagwat seva and to get bhagwan that is the topmost prapti in front of rai ramanand actually mahaprabhu speaking that vidya mote kon vidya kon vidya rai kai krishna bhakti bina vidya nahi aa vidya bhagavad abdhi that of what you are getting from the lotus mouth of guru varg what i have heard that vidya bhagavat avadi that the ultimate uh, attitude of uh, altitude of the extreme limit of vidya that extended up to infinity the extreme limit which is shown here actually that is actually that is the actual uh, 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 that is the source of a prakrit jagat so if uh, someone is just taking the kripa of bhagwat ji mahapuran if someone has just got the kripa of bhagwat ji mahapuran and means that uh, he has that he has already got the kripa of bhagwan shri krishna that is the extreme vidya if he can understand this point 
बट बट टू जस्ट जस्ट रीड भागवत इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल पीपल एंड जस्ट कलेक्टिंग मनी एंड जस्ट प्रतिष्ठा एवरी वन इज बिजी इन दैट सो विद दिस भगवान कृपा भगवान यू विल नॉट गेट लाइक दिस सो प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली महाप्रभु महाप्रभु एक्चुअली जस्ट क्वेश्चनिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ राय रामानंद दैट दैट विच इज द टॉप मोस्ट विद्या इन ऑल द विद्या विच इज द टॉप मोस्ट विद्या इन फ्रंट ऑफ राय रामानंद राय रामानंद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट कृष्ण भक्ति इज द टॉप मोस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम कृष्ण भक्ति नथिंग इज टॉप मोस्ट इन द मॉडर्न टाइम्स वॉट दे आर एक्चुअली दैट गॉडलेस एजुकेशन वॉट दे आर टीचिंग दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट रिमूविंग ईश्वर दे आर जस्ट रिमूविंग एंड कटिंग एंड रिमूविंग भगवान हो वॉट इज भगवान हो जस्ट थ्रो दिस नथिंग विल हैपन सो लाइक दिस यू जस्ट ट्राई नॉट टू रिमेंबर भगवान सो दैट इन मॉडर्न टाइम्स दिस काइंड ऑफ गॉडलेस एजुकेशन कॉन्सेप्ट कंसेप्शन इज गोइंग ऑन वॉट द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज मेड दैट्स वाई दिस काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन इज गोइंग ऑन सो जस्ट टू प्रीच दिस काइंड ऑफ गॉडलेस एजुकेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट्स वाई दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड पीपल आर गोइंग इन टू द इन टू हेल्थ बिकॉज दिस एजुकेशन इज ऑफ नो यूज श्री द मर्सी ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु दैट इफ यू विल जस्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैट इज एक्चुअली कृपा टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द मर्सी ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट ऑफ होल ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर देयर इज नो अदर वे टू गेट दैट एब्सोल्यूट हैप्पीनेस दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट थिंग the shlok which i have started with that it is uh, the it is actually the spoken by brahma jamal that that with our own fanciful mood if we are just uh, like sahaji baba and acharyas they are actually doing uh, showing ekantiki bhakti but actually they are not at all actually not at all following shruti smriti puran what they are supporting that they are not at all following that actually it is not uh, uh, written in shruti and puran and in panchrat also it is not at all written but god about according to their fanciful mood these sahaji baba ji they are just made their own siddhant vichar and this is just a barrier in front of shuddh bhakti this is a kind of barrier created in front of that is just a destruction or nothing in uh, the pathway of shuddh bhakti so vichar uh, so this vichar comes like this that i previously also have told yesterday that hari bhakti means that to just get the kripa of guru vishnuv in the way of uh, in the going in the pathway of hari bhajan nobody wants to go in that the, uh, the situation of this modern world is uh, like this only i have already told previously that because of the prabhav of this kali yug in this modern time that that what is dharm what is adharm and what is nyay what is anyay that this pathway actually by our own efforts by our own power who has that much power who has that much capacity of money power political power education power all actually dependent on that only in the way of dharma and nyay arrangement of that that is called power so how much power he has individual power man power political power money power whoever he has that is dependent on that nowadays but and and uh, nothing else is required apart from that and 
those who are actually what were those who are going in the pathway of adharm actually they are just uh, uh, giving uh, the vyakhya of dharma they are actually totally covered just like theft fully liar and frauder full fraud frauder actually all the material people actually are just uh, uh, giving mala to him and and they are just uh, taking madhu kari they actually don't go get this kind of adhikar to just take and uh, take the uh, take something from some, who is, who is actually getting that adhikar it is the adhikar of that those who are actually have just left everything in their life uh, to just take uh, something from uh, someone it is not the arrangement of anyone like they have crores of rupees in their uh, bank and he is a sanyasi and he is actually writing in this paper also like there is a foolish acharya i will actually speak him foolish acharya he is actually not acharya but he is foolish this foolish actually he is some uh, rich man is just supporting him in calcutta and uh, he is actually this that rich man just made one temple for him and if rich man if a rich man is just constructing a temple means it's not a temple it's a cross quarter and he is actually going to that temple because that rich man is just supporting him because there is some mutual understanding in between that them there is actually mutual understanding or nothing and uh, that he is actually just uh, uh, giving nice arrangements uh, to all the people uh, in the newspaper he is just writing in on the newspaper he is just writing down to all the people that that foolish person he is actually a renounced per- person and he is writing that actually we are by bhiksha vritti we are uh, we have just taken a vow that we by bhiksha vritti we will uh, we will uh, not do any bhiksha vritti we will just be actually our bharti maharaj is speaking at that time a very p- old uh, time actually that this this newspaper has just come in the hand of bharti maharaj and bharti maharaj just read that and after that by the kripa of krishna actually i was also there and maharaj was just laughing and you see so foolish person what he is writing here in the newspaper actually we are renounced and uh, to just leave bhiksha actually because you are patit that's why you have left uh, bhiksha to do bhiksha it means definitely you must have having, having some business having some left money something uh, different uh, source of money or getting from somewhere but we are not doing any bhiksha so this is actually respect for you this is a this is a way of respect for you you are actually trinandi bhikshu so bharti maharaj actually was just laughing so foolish which are actually they are they don't know actually a b c d of uh, bhajan and they are just uh, giving the new preaching way to the whole world they are not preaching they are actually cheating so so by shruti so they are not taking any support of shruti uh, smriti puran and there is no support of panchratra also but by their own rules and regulations they are following just by all breaking it on their own and they are also not following their these rules regulation on their own and in our brahm jamal it is written this is actually utpat which is uh, the pathway of destruction it will destroy everything just by just uh, which is not written in the shastra they are not at all uh, uh, giving in front of uh, those bonded souls so bhakti mun thakur has also written on this kind of vishay what i am actually speaking in front of you lot of things he has told but uh, uh, we don't have this much time uh, to speak this much uh, of siddhant and we don't have this much patience to listen to this much of siddhant so there is a lot of siddhant which are that uh, are thinking of this which are all this vishay actually they, it should be it should be actually discussed with very carefully and in depth discussion should be there but by the kripa of krishna only and under the anugatya of bhakti vinod thakur it can be done now now actually the vichar comes that that in this kali kal it is like this only that they will be doing pravachan 
that vyasasan they will be just uh, be sitting in that vyasasan and they will be just doing pravachan they will act, they are actually adharmic they are not the followers of the actual dharma this is not a joke i am just is actually speaking the absolute truth i have just seen a lot of them in that's why i am not going to any sabha what is actually happening this kind of mara they are actually thinking that preaching is i just went to one place uh, just they just went there uh, actually i have some work of press after speaking harikatha i will go away actually i just went there and just stopped there and speaking what is happening there oh my god what is happening there all foolish material talkings all material talkings going on they are actually talking to their own devotees who are actually equivalent to dogs you are they are speaking that you speak hari katha when he speaking hari katha then i was just uh, with his angry eyes i was just seeing that acharya so much angry red eyes was there what he speaking you you are actually senior devotee uh, sitting here he is actually 80 years old he actually is went there you are actually not giving him the time to speak hari katha and you are just giving that uh, time to that foolish dog and cat shishya devotee what is going on they are actually of gaudiya mat it is uh, just the kripa of krishna that uh, all the relationship has been cut oh very very good all actually foolish number 1 foolish so the uh, this is going on said they are actually going in the way of adharma so they are actually giving lecture of dharma to all the people they are actually parupadeshak pandit prabhupad used to speak parupadeshak pandit they are everything is going on like this so so this actually uh, by the kripa of krishna actually a lot of things are written and prabhupad has written a lot and bhakti no thakur also has written a lot and i have just given a very uh, small brief description about this because of up till what point we can discuss so so those who actually are thinking that they are gyani so mostly what is not required they will just uh, collect that much gyan so these are the things all this so that is called atyahar that all those karma phal vadi they are just uh, collecting the fruits of their good good karm they are giving different different kind of uh, uh, karma and they are just doing that and what the fruits have they have that desire inside their heart what they will get that is also called atyahar that also comes in the category of atyahar that is comes in the category of anya bilash anya bilashi that person is there he will he is like a karma kandi he actually just desires for that fruit and he is actually just uh, always busy in just getting the fruit of his own desire because after getting death he will just be getting a nice uh, uh, body and he will enjoy that but you just be attentive about this point that whatever is giving bananas to the monkeys and he is just giving kambal to the sadhu sant so different different kind of things he is actually doing all this karam kand actually is doing what it is this is called atyahar and nowadays actually it is going that we will just be in the name of parikrama that business is going on that we will just uh, free of cost parikrama we will uh, give to anyone just need to give 500 rupees uh, each person everything we will do whatever free will be there because everything in donation everything is coming you are just taking all the donation and you are just uh, not giving even 10% on that so this kind of things are all going on nowadays so so all those gyani gan they are actually kar- karmi gani actually they are just uh, desiring the fruits of their own uh, action and uh, all these kind of uh, dravya all these things actually comes in atyahar and for our own mat for our hari bhajan we need money for it it is very essential money is very essential so from where everything will come but excessive money is not required prabhupad speaking so what is excessive that is not at all required that is comes in the category of atyahar that in the millions of years also they will not get bhakti because they are all uh, uh, just busy in collecting money 
दे ऑल बिजी एक्चुअली इन कलेक्टिंग मनी दैट सेट प्रभुपद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट दैट दैट दे आर जस्ट कलेक्टिंग एक्सेसिव मनी एंड जस्ट कलेक्टिंग लॉट ऑफ मनी दैट इज नॉट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आर लाइफ जस्ट टू कलेक्ट मोर एंड मोर मनी दैट इज नॉट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आवर लाइफ इफ वी आर जस्ट डूइंग दैट देन वी विल we will just be thinking that all sadguru vaishnava are mad because they will be getting money minded and their body will become so hot their mind will become hot so they will just be thinking all guru vaishnava is mad foolish so that will just destroy their life that prabhu is speaking if they will be just collecting more and more excessive money then definitely they will be just uh, not following guru vaishnav and they will be just uh, going into hell definitely that will be done automatically that is not the question they will definitely do that that will actually become the punishment for him so by just taking this body whatever enjoyment you can do you can do whatever enjoyment you want to do with this body oh you acharya but after that then this actually world is uh, very temporary you are just uh, taking uh, you are just uh, like a looter you are just like a fraudster just looting the whole pers- whole material world you can do it up till now but definitely the far reaching result will be very bad and it also comes in the uh, vichar of atyahar as well and uh, in the shlok number 3 i have already told utsaha means that in the bhakti sadhan in the way of bhakti sadhan if there is no utsaha utsaha is the topmost uh, limb of a bhajan and if there is no utsaha then then in any work we will not get that uh, desire to do that work gurudev always used to speak that utsaha that these people don't have they are actually you have to just get up at 3 am or maybe 4 am that is not possible for them that is very difficult for them so this is very difficult work for them to get up for 3 am and 4 am so utsaha means that whatever work you do you are doing with the you have that uh, capacity with full capacity you are doing with that bhakti sadhan especially utsaha means that that is utsaha nishchat means that uh, full confidence you have <coughs> that i will do that that by doing this definitely i will get uh, benefit benefit from this if i will do sansar and all this i will do there is no use so by doing hari bhajan everything will be beneficial under the guidance of gurudev that is the topmost thing that is the topmost advantage for me nischa that is nischa means full determination your determination should be fixed that is nischa if in our life if our determination is not fixed then we will not get uh, bhajan is very far distant for us we can't do anything that sankalp should be there dharja means that is a topmost jewel in the bhajan limb of bhajan because that is patience if somebody don't have patience he is actually oh very unstable very unstable he is all the time unstable just going hither thither where he will not get anything in this in his life so patience for what oh lot of days have gone we are doing bhajan actually in the mud se ma we are doing not of naam and doing not of seva of gurudev nothing is going oh we will not do anything let's go from here so in this way, what you can do in punjab actually i just went one to one place i just went for preaching to one place all the vaishnavas just went there and uh, there shila bharti maharaj one sevak was there he actually he has just shown me a lot of vairagya and he was just speaking actually i was also hearing that actually everything he has just uh, get rid of all his house relatives everything i was just laughing what you have just uh, left what was there in your house what did you have left you just give me the uh, proof of that 
what you have in your house what you have left huh. i was just laughing everything he was speaking i have just left i have just left what you have left rup sanatan can speak that i have left they can speak prabhupad actually can speak this point bhakti hriday bandev ko swami maharaj can speak keshav ko swami maharaj can speak shridhar ko swami can speak that they have just left something you can see what was there in their house they have just left what what you have left what was there in your house and what happened next after that he said but he was just doing a seva bharti maharaj and some sevak actually came to just do seva of bharti maharaj actually there was no sevak so he just want to do something and in angry mood he was just speaking you actually you actually asked me something i am the sevak so why you are getting angry he actually they have the desire to say do seva bharti maharaj some seva you he can just give it give it to them but he is becoming you have you have asked me i am the sevak of i am the sevak he what happened that he has after that he has just gone into the uh, some uh, he was after that he just left everything and gone to that kambal um, uh, factory just working there as a employer so <laughs> you can see what he has left <laughs> that is good he just went he have if he haven't uh, went to uh, go there and uh, for the job then we can't understand what he has left so he has, so prabhupad actually has said that not to collect crores of rupees that is not the actual all comes in the way of atyahar that is against bhakti he will definitely be become fallen and definitely all the others whole family will also will get fallen and all his followers will also will get in the fallen condition because this is a negative direction negative pathway so in the way of uttama bhakti if you go so nice in depth discussion is there if someone is speaking that i am from very high family i have just went there also he was just living in a basti in a slum area actually he was living in the some slum area and now he is speaking i was there this that i was living this way now just for love and pratishtha so that your patience a lot of days i have gone i am just doing 25 years to 30 years of bhajan nothing is happening so this is not actually good to think so what is our actual fault what is our own fault we have to see we have to analytically see that what is our fault how much why our realization power is dropping why are we are not getting anand in bhajan that is very important to follow so patience if it's not there if the patience is patience is gone then everything is gone oh so lot of time has gone i am doing this that but nothing is going on so you have some patience bhajan is not a matter of joke you patience should be there and tat tat karm par that what are actually uh, good for bhakti tat tat means that what are actually good for bhakti which are anukule for bhakti only that karm you have to do that is not at all prohibited in the name of bhakti whatever uh, karm is uh, given in the shastra that is uh, not at all prohibited now we have to see we have to see whether it is anukulya bhakti or not if some bonded jeev bonded soul is just doing a work of acharya he is already no already in bonded condition he can't speak about bhakti na because he is not in bhakti field so that's the thing i have already seen that he actually just calling shila bharti maharaj i was also there in to south india lot of vaishnavs went there in a temple he just want to open one temple and just uh, king of odisha also came there i was just surprised to see that uh, this whole temple what pratishtha they have done there is there is no uh, vaishnav all karam kandis are there who are doing all the things no vaishnav is there no abhishek no mantra part no vaishnav was doing all karam kandi people were doing so i was very much surprised to see this they actually all mayavadi 100 percent they are mayavadi in the way just to just to sparsh just to touch the vaishnav vigre uh, if some vaishnav just touch that vigre almost that uh, pran the life just came in the vigre 
but all this karam kandi actually doing that so how it's possible that all this so they are just uh, uh, asking some uh, calling some south indian brahman but there are teeth maharaj ji bharti ko swami maharaj all those big vaishnavas are there but still here calling a south indian brahman so for uh, mandir te- temple pratishtha we have to call a brahman so in vaishnav brahmanism is not there you so big mayavadi you have become a so big mayavadi that you just become into so fallen condition that so big big vaishnav have just come here you haven't told them that uh, maharaj you can just do some abhishek and you some just give, give some pushpanjali you don't have this much faith on guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav that uh, uh, krishna will definitely come in, inside the vigra just by pushpanjali and abhishek of from the hands of pure vaishnav like in the dhaka at that time very uh, very old uh, time actually i'm talking actually in dhaka some place julan bari one place is there julan bari actually prabhupad actually for go went for hari katha and prabhupad actually don't have any time all the time he is speaking hari katha in the month of kartik and what happened there is one person he is a very nice devotee he actually went to prabhupad on to lotus feet of prabhupad and is crying in front of him that actually if you can come do kripa and you can ka- just come to my house and you can just do pratishtha of the vikre in my house prabhupad actually speaking that i don't have any time so where i should go all the time he am doing hari katha all people are coming so prabhupad actually was uh, uh, speaking no i can't go he actually taken harina uh, harina man diksha he is not a no, uh, no, not a bad person he is a good man person he is actually krishnanand maharaj he is a topmost uh, saint sadhu when he was there he was actually speaking to prabhupad after that prabhupad okay you do one thing you do take the vigre you just uh, place in front of me uh, that vigre you just take in front of me so that i can i can't go there at your place because seva is the topmost thing seva is the topmost thing so whatever that vigre is not pratishtit you just bring in front of me because that vigre is not getting pratishtit so okay you just bring that vigre in front of me i have already heard it from my own that it is very strange very surprised that prabhupad actually that vigre just uh, he just take that vigre to uh, that i jo don't remember the name of the vigre but prabhupad what he done what he's done he just taken uh, one uh, flower with the chandan just smeared it with chandan and just uh, giving it on to lotus feet of krishna and just giving one tulsi leaf on to the lotus feet of krishna now it is actually pratishthit after hearing this i was very much surprised to see but after that when i understand the tatva siddhant by the kripa of krishna then that is not a strange thing that is a done a long a lot of time before like in the assam in sarbog also it is happened like param puja by shri dar go swami maharaj has just uh, with the loveful mood he has just given without abhishek abhishek actually prabhupad will do but uh, before that only ramanand prabhu actually with the loveful mood actually given have uh, given all the clothes to the vigre and amangala whatever actually dirtiness was there in the vigre or some dust is there all they actually removed that after that giving clothes to the vigre and why with loveful mood all that uh, mala flower mala also given oh so mala should not be given but he has given that with the loveful mood and then prabhupad just came there uh, during the time of abhishek after the prabhupad just came there and uh, uh, then uh, prabhupad actually just uh, uh, gone from bhajan kuti that bhajan kuti was like that only there was no money but you can just uh, even a normal person actually he just uh, uh, just lives in a very nice kutir but at that time the bhajan kutir was you no know, very small actually eternal parshal of radharani prabhupad prabhupad then went out of the bhajan kutir and come to the temple and the, when he just opened the curtain of the temple and after when he is just entering the temple what happened what happened ramanand prabhu this is already pratishthit vigra now actually i haven't pratishthit uh, done pratishtha of this vigra shridhar maharaj speaking this i actually have not done pratishtha you have to do pratishtha prabhu was speaking this is already pratishthit now this vigra this shridhar maharaj actually by the bhakti of shridhar goswami maharaj that vigra already got that uh, all, already got pratishthit 
Vigra already has just bound to take that uh, flower mala from Shridhar Maharaj. Already got Pratishtit. So Prabhupada uh, haven't done uh, Pratishtha. He said that already Pran Pratishtha is done in the Vigra. So we actually are not understanding, not having confidence. I was actually feeling very bad because I am a normal person. Who will understand my point, what I am speaking? I am a very small person. So but I become very, very unhappy. That Bhakti Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti Vallabh Tirith Maharaj, Santa Goswami Maharaj, all big, big Vaishnavas were there. But uh, in their presence also, they are actually asking those South Indian Brahmins, asking them to come there and doing Pratishtha of that temple. So uh, I don't know actually, not thinking whether Gurudev is uh, happy with me or not. They are not at all having this point. Maybe you can just understand the situation. You can just see the situation whether Gurudev is happy or not. That is all. And they can also understand this. I have also have that letter that I have lot got a lot of money. Only money we have got. That's it. Everything is uh, getting destroyed. I told that it is good. I already told you that not to do like this, but you haven't uh, understand my point. But now you are crying. Now for what your reason you are crying? Just when whole the, all the birds have just taken all the grains from the field, now you are crying. <laughs> now it is no use. Now you can't do anything. So you haven't... Uh, um, Though you want, you do your own preaching. I am a very small person. What I can do or not do, only Krishna knows. So this, this tat kat karm pravartanat, in this, there can be so that no misunderstanding can be done in this, because tat tat karm pravartanat, this is an open term. They will just take undue advantage of this and can do anything. And the thing is now that what is actually anukul for bhakti and what is pratikul for bhakti, who will tell that? Who will tell that? A material person in the form of acharya will speak or if a, a sadguru will tell? Who will tell? You tell me. So, tatat karma vartanat, that is also an open term. So, very in depth analysis is there. So just to hear this only that the just to establish the karma of bhakti anukul that is called bhaktatatkan pavartanat and sangatyagat means that it means that just by uh, leaving sang what will happen and sangatyagat I have just already spoken previously I was not feeling satisfaction in my heart. But still, I have just uh, uh, given a brief dis description about this. This sang actually, it, in here, satsang is not uh, being spoken here. Sat sat Sangatyagat means in that object, in that object, and in those persons, I am getting attraction, I am getting asakti, I am getting attachment to them. And in that object or in those persons I have to leave and I have to leave bad association 100% that is a satsang of this there is no doubt and uh, uh, just by speaking satsang means Mahaprabhu has told one thing uh, what he has said that a satsang means and Sri Sangha and Sri Sangir Sangha means those who are doing association of Sri women that's those who are non-devotees of Krishna. They are actually a satsang. And those three sanghi who are doing women association, they are also a satsang. And those who are actually doing the association of those women association, those who are doing, those if you are doing that, you have to just leave that. So this is the this is the in general description of uh, sangatyagat. So this is the meaning of sangatyagat. So any object. When uh, you are, uh, whether it is just uh, eating a uh, uh, object or whether it's an enjoying object or whether a person, whosoever object is that, whatever object is that, if I am getting attraction towards that, that is called Sangatyaga, that we have to leave that. And uh, Asat Sangha have already just briefly described about that. Those who are non devotees of Krishna, those who are actually doing women association and those who are doing the so association of the persons who are associated with women that you have to leave so in general 
I will definitely be just describing it afterwards. And Sato Pritya means that uh, just uh, how how much uh, prabhav is there of uh, the acharan of Sant of Sagus pure Guru Vishnu? What is the actual acharan of pure Guru Vishnu? Then there is only one answer that the acharan of uh, pure Guru Vishnu, pure Sadhus, that is bhakti, because pure Vishnu, pure Sadhus. They they are not doing that kind of work which is against which is not connected with bhakti. So the thing the meaning is that that uh, all the pure guru pure devotees whatever they are doing that is always uh, good for bhakti. It is related to bhakti. And sato vritti means to do the 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 vritti of the actual the efforts of uh, sadhu vishnu the. <coughs> the acharan of and the sadachar of sadhu pure sadhus that is called sadhu vritti to just to take 10 times vaat in a time that is sadachar but vamshidas baba ji maharaj actually even you go there then you will see that he has no sadachar at all parampara keshav goswami maharaj in one month only used to take one time bath that is also not sadachari you will just feel this no externally they are not at all sadachari Oh Maharaj, actually only one time he is taking bath in one month. He is actually not Sadachar. Keshav Goswami Maharaj. <laughs> so all this actually we have when we are understanding, we have to just wait for birth after birth to understand these points. Parampujibad Keshav Goswami Maharaj, the Adachar is so much up, so much topmost. Sadachar means bhakti, is so topmost. Then whatever he will speak, whatever he will do, whatever he will see, whatever he will do. That becomes bhakti. So that's why Radharani, our when before going, we were leaving body. Radharani just gave her own mala from her neck, and it just fall down. And then the pujari just given that mala to the onto the neck of the uh, Keshav Goswami Maharaj and Vaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak that our Gurudev, you see our Gurudev, so. So oh, you see what is the time, it's good or bad. Bhavan Goswami Maharaj used to speak on his own. That uh, he was just asking the right time, whether it's a good time to leave body. Purnima, what time uh, is Purnima? I just see. And uh, Bhavan Goswami Maharaj used to speak. Maharaj, just by speaking, that like that uh, death is just, an, uh, just a joking for him. Vaman Goswami Maharaj just, uh, it's just like, just by, by playing he's going. Oh, well, the time is good. Uh, Purnamasi, after oh, what time it's it? Ah, okay, okay. Aarti is done. Uh, afternoon after Aarti? Okay, okay. Right, right, right. Then that mala just again on the neck of uh, Keshav Goswami Maharaj. After that he's leaving body, you see. It's like Pish, Pitama Bhishma. Such a topmost sadhu, such a Guru Vaishnava. Even the uh, heavens of demigods also, they can't even praise them. All the demigods of heavens also, they actually can't, like Shirdar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami, they can't be on equal level on that because they are actually eternal partial of Radhanani. Maybe actually they are getting some position, some people, but that is actually the truth, is actual truth, is actual truth. So there is no point of getting afraid of that. So whatever you want to do, you can do. Sato Vritti means that whatever the Kriya Karma of Guru, that is all Bhakti. So Sato Vritti means that uh, whatever the Sadachar of Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, Pure Guru Vaishnav, those who are actually following that Sadachar, that you have to just uh, take into your life, just follow that. So whatever the pathway shown by the uh, Guru Vaishnav, Pure Guru Vaishnav, that you have to just follow. So these six kind of things, if you will do in your life, uh, in all these six things, if you will just be able to do that, then definitely you will get Bhakti. Because that is that are anukuli for in in the pathway of bhakti. Means that by these bhakti definitely will get nourishment. It will get matured. Bhakti will go ahead definitely because. Because these are all anukulya for bhakti, good for bhakti. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur, I have already told previously, yesterday, 
but still i will speak again you just uh, hear because i don't have the time to speak uh, too much Bhakti Mano Thakur, you see, so nice Kirtan he has actually just embedded all the bhav in that. So much bhava is there. That Anukalya, all these things you actually, you, all these six things which are good for Bhakti. Those I have already told you about the Sangh, that uh, sat, a Satsang you have to leave, you have to take uh, Sadhu Vritti so that you will get maturity in Bhakti. That is all the uh, nichod of all the Shastras. So this because of this Utsai is very important. If there is no Utsai in the heart, then why Bhakti will not be possible? Because Bhakti means action. <coughs> and whenever you are doing something and when you are not getting your heart inside that, your mind is not getting because you are just lazy in uh, Ram Bhajan because you want Pudi, Kachodi, Ras Malai. Oh, that you are getting Utsai in eating that. But after that you are just sleeping. And in the temple also he will do all the kitchen work and he will just give you nice prasadam. That's it. So this is Bhakti for you. But Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking here that in doing the all Bhakti Anushtan arrangement of all the Bhaktis, if there is no Utsai inside you, then nothing will be there. And you should have full confidence, full confidence in Bhakti. And whatever successful stage of in in order to get into the successful stage of bhakti for bhakti siddhi you should need you need to have patience full patience with full patience you need to uh, you know work and whatever you are doing in which you are just gathering maturity in your bhakti then and those by performing those karma by you are just doing your uh, uh, normal life you are leading and you are just uh, uh, <coughs> removing all kind of satsang from your life you have to just leave all kind of bad association if you will not leave these bad association then then definitely nothing will happen and sadachar sadhu vritti is very important whatever acharan is done by sadhu you also have to follow that by just seeing them and for those grihast vraktis you just have to take the acharan of the dharma ashray you just with your shukla vritti you have to just go in the correct pathway and all those for renounced people they just need to do uh, bhiksha uh, and renounced people renounced in a renounced order person always have to do bhiksha and and the griha vakti grasta vakti always uh, just have to take the support of the dharma what dharma that dharma uh, which is which if you basically just uh, make a nice which are that is called the varnashram but uh, in bhakti there is no requirement of varnashram dharm but still whenever there is a bonded state you have to perform varnashram when he will just go to that extreme situation then he will just uh, be getting into bhakti yoga because he have already gone up to that extreme position but when he is not getting that bhakti siddhi up till that he has not gone up till that paraman savastha he has to follow that varnashram dharma up till that point he uh, if he will not follow it means that he will just uh, be disrespecting varnashram dharma because uh, still we don't have that much radha but this uh, that chain uh, chain of disrespect will just go into the sansar material world so Bhakti Mahat Thakur is speaking that whatever our sanskar is there, uh, values, our moral ethics are there, we just need to, sh- after Diksha what happens, after taking Diksha what happens, whatever with the sanskar of your previously, when you are taking Diksha under the Guru Charan, then what will happen, if you have at- Atmasmarupan 100% onto Lotus Feet of Sadguru, then 
these are very far distant things but still the first thing is that after diksha all taking diksha also after taking diksha also first of all sanskar is the most important uh, most important thing but if the diksha is perfect then sanskar will not uh, do anything because uh, infinity uh, millions of uh, all sinful activities are or removed by diksha because diksha means itself means this only diksha means divya gyan to get established in divya gyan inside the heart it just get established the divya gyan just gets uh, naturally um, activated inside our heart and we are just uh, all the sinful activities of infinity lifetimes from the root it is just get destroyed and all those sinful activities cannot be get uh, uh, cannot get taken birth again in your heart but this is very difficult but it happens when when a so lot of guru vaishnavas have done this in their life maybe they are of the nitya jagat eternal jagat but still they have shown us so whatever our chatur our gun and karma according to our qualities and characteristics we just need to do that job maybe any business he is just give taking some money out of that just by doing some job or something according to their don't do any kind of theft or lottery or fraud fraudster something so that you are just getting uh, black money from somewhere that is not at all uh, it is all 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 the time prohibited so for uh, grahasti actually bhakti mno thakur he has told and uh, renounced order he has told that he has to do bhiksha uh, and just have to maintain his life according to that just by doing bhiksha and those grahi vyaktis that uh, grahast vyaktis they have to just take the uh, shelter of dharma ashray you have to take the bhagavad dharma ashray that is the actual meaning that is the absolute dharma but in order to just maintain their life in this material world they just uh, speaking foul words uh, uh, against uh, varnashram dham that is not at all good just to go against varna varnashram dham because he is actually living in this material world and he is actually no desire to just follow the varnashram dham what we will do by following varnashram because he don't have bhakti inside his heart so <coughs> varnashram dham means if he is just disrespecting varnashram dham then uh, he is going uh, uh, unstability in the whole uh, material world and that's what bhakti no thakur told that uh, when he is in the hou- household life whenever he has uh, no desire inside his heart he has no desire he is actually his heart is very unstable because he don't have any confidence uh, in this he has all the confidence in karma kand only uh, renounced order person can, can just do bhiksha and can do and those grahi persons they are just uh, can take dharm in upfront they can just take the dharm in upfront and they they will just uh, maintain their life accordingly <coughs> and uh, according to that they will uh, uh, be doing shukla vritti by doing shukla vritti with white money it it means another another meaning comes that they will just maintain their life just to maintain their life just to maintain their household uh, life they just need to uh, all to, both the things will come just to maintain their life and just to maintain their life by uh, following bhakti yoga when their one devotee actually just comes on the siddha avastha goes on the siddha platform paramhans platform if he goes on the paramhans platform then at that time his life actually he that paramhans actually he is to maintain his life is and just to do bhakti anushulan it is all the same it is not two different points but basically but when we are doing a vichar then uh, the we first we have to maintain our life and secondly we have to uh, do the anushulan of bhakti as we have to balance both the things because uh, all those devotees actually it is very important because he is living in this household life and he is not a renounced person so for to maintain his life and uh, and order all his relatives are there and he has to has relationship with them he will have that relation with them so he has to balance that like bhakti no thakur has done everything is balanced how to maintain his life and uh, i we can't know actually thak only krishna knows about this very very difficult how he is able to do this so just to maintain your life and to just uh, do anushilan of bhakti 
ऑल दीज एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू पॉइंट फॉर द डिवोटी टू फॉलो सो वॉट एवर श्लो श्लोक आई एव जस्ट स्टार्टेड विद दिस श्लोका दिस द फर्स्ट श्लोक दैट यू हैव टू इज एक्चुअली ऑल द क्रिया वॉट आर रिलेटेड विद भक्ति अनुशीलन एंड सेकेंड लाइन टू जस्ट मेंटेन द लाइफ ऑफ अ डिवोटी दैट वॉट आर गुड नरिशमेंट फॉर भक्ति सदाचार सतोवृत्ति एवरीथिंग दैट इज एक्चुअली जस्ट बाई फॉलोइंग दिस डेफिनेटली भक्ति विल गेट नरिशमेंट भक्ति विल गेट सिद्धि यू विल गेट सिद्धि इन योर भक्ति उत्साह मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर अनुष्ठान यू आर टेकिंग इन रिगार्ड्स टू भक्ति दैट शुड बी देयर इफ यू आर जस्ट वेरी अनहैप्पी बाई जस्ट फॉलोइंग द रूल्स ऑफ भक्ति यू कैन जस्ट सी नाउ ऑल्सो दैट अनुष्ठान इज गोइंग ऑन सम अनुष्ठान सम अरेंजमेंट इज गोइंग ऑन लाइक रथ यात्रा बट स्टिल और दीज डिवोटीज एक्चुअली आर नॉट एक्चुअली दो दी सो कॉल्ड भक्त डिवोटीज दे आर नो दे आर हैविंग नो उत्साह इफ रथ यात्रा ओके इट इज देयर देर इज नो उत्साह इन साइड देयर हार्ट देर इज रथ यात्रा एंड लेट एस गो एंड हैव दर्शन ऑफ कृष्णा देर इज नो उत्साह इन साइड देयर हार्ट दे आर जस्ट ईटिंग स्लीपिंग एंड ड्रिंकिंग एंड स्लीपिंग सो इन ऑल दिस भक्ति अनुष्ठान देर शुड बी सम आनंद टू डू परफॉर्म ऑल दिस एंड नॉट टू गेट डिस्ट्रेस और अनहैप्पी दैट इज एक्चुअली द लोभ ऑफ भक्ति ग्रीडीनेस ऑफ भक्ति आई हैव जस्ट सीन अ प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल रिगार्डिंग दिस आई हैव सीन दैट इन द चाक द टेम्पल आई वॉज देयर लाल बिग अनुष्ठान ऑफ स्नान यात्रा वॉज गोइंग ऑन शिला भक्ति वाल तीर्थ को स्वामी मारा एवरी वन ऑल द डिवोट इज जस्ट वेंट देयर आई वॉज ऑल्सो देयर लॉट ऑफ अनंद वॉज देयर ऑल हरी कथा कीर्तन विल बी डन देयर एंड आई हैव जस्ट सीन वन डिवोटी देयर दैट वेन गुरुदेव जस्ट केम देयर दैट गुरुदेव वेल कम After that we will just give pujpa pushpanjali to him after that he will sit and we'll just talk with him he is a very big devotee actually what he done he just went to the bank of ganga oh, why where you went actually i asked me gurudev actually why you just going to ganga just to going to enjoy there actually is it a time to go to ganga and just enjoy there ah uh, you gurudev is coming okay not coming he don't have that with science said now he has got lot of money and he is just living in a uh, rented flat and he is just uh, this is called bhakti you see is this bhakti is this bhakti no so guru dev why and all why vaishnav all the they are just giving and he is actually becoming distress unhappy that will just destroy bhakti and that the utsah what i have told you this utsah actually there should be respect in that If there is no respect, I have just seen utsa like a karmi. All those karm kandi people, in the karmi people also utsa is there. Utsa is also there in that. I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. Is utsa in karmi also utsa is there. If inside your inside prema, internal prema is not there, respect is not there, then it will become a karm kand for him. Be careful about this point. Be attentive. If a person who is actually doing all the anushilan, what is uh, actually speaking in this uh, shloka, and if this internal prema actually is all preeti is actually attached to it, it will just become karm karm kand. They will become karmi. So, from our internal prema preeti actually, we 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 can't be doing. That is actually utsah. Whatever you do with that, the what. Rupa Goswami was wanted to say here. Rupa Goswami was actually used to speak this. That where it is written, Maharaj, I haven't seen that. Only this it is written. Okay. Oh, who, who can understand this point? All oh, who can understand uh, the heart of Vishnu? Vaishnav? Only Vishnu can understand. We can't understand that. That's why Guru Varg speaking. That that it means that that utsah means in karmi persons also there is utsah inside their heart. so is this utsah is like that no that prem that preeti should be there with full of absolute bliss and happiness inside heart that is called utsah which is related to bhakti and whatever kind of utsah is there material utsah what we are saying that is called no it is not utsah at all i have already in north bengal i just went there very very long time ago i was just going uh, forcefully there 
आई वॉज जस्ट स्पीकिंग हरी कथा देयर एंड आफ्टर जस्ट स्पीकिंग हरी कथा इन नॉर्थ बंगाल एंड लॉट ऑफ महाराज ऑल्सो वेंट देयर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वॉज एक्चुअली जस्ट वेंट टू माई रूम एंड आई वॉज बिकॉज आई जस्ट वेव टू डू माई माला एंड ऑल थिंग्स एंड आई हैव सीन वन थिंग दैट देर इज वन कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ सिंगिंग सॉन्ग्स देर इज वन हिंदी सॉन्ग इज गोइंग ऑन बंगाली सॉन्ग एंड ऑल एक्चुअली आर डांसिंग एंड एक्चुअली आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग एंड हु सो एवर विल जस्ट कम ऑन द चेयर विल फर्स्ट विल विन आई वॉज थिंकिंग वॉट इज एक्चुअली गोइंग ऑन एक्चुअली आई वॉज गोइंग टू मोरो आई वॉज जस्ट यू एक्चुअली कॉल्ड मी हेयर फॉर हरी कथा एंड यू आर जस्ट गोइंग ऑल कॉम्पिटिशन हेयर ऑल विद फॉर द विलेज बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स यू आर जस्ट कॉल इज दिस भक्ति सो आई जस्ट आज दिन आई वॉज वेरी एंग्री टू वॉट इज दिस वॉट यू आर डूइंग देयर एक्चुअली दिस इज ऑल एक्चुअली विलेज पीपल वी हैव टू डू दैट नो नो डोंट नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एट ऑल आई टोल्ड हिम विद एंग्री मूड मे बी सम वॉट यू कॉल वो इंडिगो और समथिंग फ्रॉम वेयर यू जस्ट नीड टू वेन द सॉन्ग विल गेट स्टॉप यू जस्ट नीड टू सिट ऑन द चेयर वॉट इज एक्चुअली गोइंग ऑन Actually, this is going on, Maharaj. Is this going on? What is this? All rubbish going on. They are actually seeing, thinking that is all anukulya of bhakti, good for bhakti. But if they can understand, that is actually all uh, uh, against bhakti. They are actually showing lot of utsah in these material things. So these are all against bhakti. So nischay means there is total settlement inside the heart, full confidence inside the heart. That nischay is there. That. that in uh, the lotus feet of krishna everything will be done by doing bhakti everything will be done this kind of confidence should be there shudhiro nischay krishna bhakti karile sarva karma krito hoy e nischay matlab nischay means that is 100% there is no doubt there is no doubt in it and dharja avishta vastu that that avishta vastu that uh, avishta vastu we will definitely get we need patience for that L- lot of uh, sadhus i have guru vaishnav i know their names and i just get their sang that they are no only patience it is more than the himalaya mountain i know lot of vaishnavs they have actually in uh, in uh, at the night time like bhakti mohan thakur lot of vaishnava are there who at the night time in very silently he used they used to do bhajan because they get darshan of that bhajan because they get the leela darshan of the bhajan what they, they are performing at night time silently so so much patience is there maybe it, they are just going beyond the himalayan mountains this much of patience like prabhupad actually madhav goswami maharaj their patience himalaya is nothing in front of them so much patience they can just go up the himalaya mountain so much patience vaman goswami maharaj oh my haj oh my god so much patience is there can't even understand but just by seeing that i am just feeling surprised oh so much patience and actually they are just in a silent mood they are doing all the name very silently and in the gambira temple i have seen one rasik one vidya bhushan was there at the night time night after night he was just doing hari naam hari krishna kab gaur aaye when gaur will come ho oh, prabhu when gaur will come oh, now today today gaur will come now ho oh, some sound is coming maybe gaur is coming gaur is coming full confidence he is doing hari naam with full patience he is doing hari naam gaur gaur darshan definitely i will get gaur darshan so much confidence so much patience so that your patience is a stop most thing you we can't even imagine that is not uh, available for a normal person what bhakti is a normal person can't understand this that what is bhakti and what are anukulya good for bhakti and what are against bhakti who will show you now with your own mood you are just following everything self enjoying mood one one time there from one society one rath yatra was uh, uh, festival was uh, just arranged one rath yatra festival was arranged from big society and uh, and param puja param puja shridhar goswami maharaj actually was uh, they were asking that this this rath festival they are arranging shridhar maharaj actually speaking very nice uh, answer to that question 
so in depth discussion they have uh, he has shown that they are they become very angry they become very angry they because they don't have that patience that what actually uh, vaishnav is speaking what is the actual reason behind this maharaj actually just uh, tell us that why you are just speaking this bus like that they are just doing criticism to them oh he is doing speaking this our gurudev didn't speak like this he is speaking though no patience is there they will speak like this i just told them that when you are doing yam kirtan it is actually in bonded state it is not uh, that uh, uh, it is not that uh, essential to do yam kirtan in bonded state that our guru the all the guru were have not told like keshav goswami maharaj told not to do yam kirtan only just hear hari katha and after hearing katha then only some guru were has done also yam kirtan but it doesn't mean that they have just given the adhikar of doing the yam kirtan in the kartik month yam kirtan actually that is a very a uh, very topmost vaishnav who is very prabhavshali actually under his guidance if we are doing kirtan then okay it's okay we can do that but what is the meaning of kirtan what is the in depth discussion analysis of the kirtan we can't understand that uh, yam kirtan that ashtakalya leela i have just told them one thing that that yam kirtan in bonded state you it is not that essential to do what because that is the vichar of guru guru varg all bhakti prem puri goswami maharaj and all guru var they become very angry our guru they spoke like this why you are speaking like this <laughs> they become angry foolish number one no patience here at all all actually mad they can't understand anything they have just came from different different place to do bhajan guru ji guru ji guru ji just speak him they are just doing guruism just guru vaad they are not doing guru bhakti they are doing guru vaad this is not guru bhakti this, this is not called guru bhakti foolish number 1 so what is actually anukulya of bhakti all those bonded souls actually they are just thinking that radha gond govind vilas are doing in the kunj everything will go in a negative direction and our param pooja ka keshav ko swami maharaj just by with his oh, with his efforts he, he actually by the permission of bhakti vinod thakur by the anuga in the anugatya of bhakti vinod thakur he used to do prabhati uh, he just write a new aarti kirtan that that kirtan bhakti vinod thakur written that bale gora ka tha that uh, morning kirtan that this actually by just by doing that if some material person he has so much material lust and desire and angry attitude is there he don't know anything about god yamat so what he will speak that kishor kishori what are doing in the morning time ha huh? everything is going on krishna jo he will understand krishna no he will not that's why keshav goswami maharaj has written uh, under the guidance of permission of bhakti mo thakur just by de- taking his kripa uh, written a new prabhati morning kirtan so that these material people can understand foolish people can understand what is actually the kirtan is lot of persons have just uh, done a uh, 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 doing against going against this that bhakti mo thakur has written then why maharaj has written a new kirtan So, Bab Keshav Goswami Maharaj has not done any disrespect to Bhakti Vinod Thakur. If you will do this kirtan, because they don't have this elevated bhav, so under guidance of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he has written one another kirtan. In that, there is so much in-depth discussion analysis is there that about there is no indication of Nishant Lila in that kirtan. What Keshav Goswami Maharaj written because all those merciful Vaishnavas they actually want to hide this in front of all those bonded souls. because all these bonded jeevas actually they have the material bhava they are actually very it's that bhava is very dangerous so that you know they want to hide that uh, bhava uh, in front of bonded jeevas so that because if they will not hide then uh, negative will happen like our krishna das kaviraj goswami has written no for those actually these hidden things actually are uh, uh, these the hidden these hidden points of radha govind leela are uh, actually uh, not speaking in front of uh, bonded jeevas uh, it is strictly prohibited in front of them to speak samjha you can understand this point krishna kaviraj goswami has written in chatanya charitamrit jahar lage kohi to mana 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 jahar
जार लगी को ही तो माना से जो दी ना जाने for them actually i am actually very uh, hesitated to speak that if he is not actually understanding this, it's very good he has a has an understand that hidden secret points so keshav ko swami maharaj actually speaking just by that desire under the anugatya of bhakti vinod thakur has written a new uh, uh, morning aarti kirtan and by this lot of uh, you know uh, things just happened in the math oh, they because they can't understand so uh, nourishment for that bhakti what are anukalya for bhakti and what is against bhakti so a normal person will understand that no not at all they will not understand so so these all pure vaishnava actually is very important so what is actually karm vidhi for uh, uh, bhakti you have had in the whole life you have understand this you have actually understand this point in your whole life about this that uh, before we before taking prasadam you have to you have to just hear chaitanya chaitra because in the at the time of prasadam he used to hear uh, chaitanya chaitra new new things actually they are uh, rules and regulation they are just mean making and uh, all these rule regulations are for others not for them uh, nothing is for us everything is for others rules and regulations foolish nothing no rules they are just giving new new rules and regulation whatever uh, gurudev has not told guruvarg has not told they are following that they are just doing aparad they on to lotus feet of uh, uh, chaitanya chaitanya amrit they will do aparad foolish mad people so in this way bhakti poshak means what are uh, good nourishment for bhakti will prabhu which things will provide and whatever is against bhakti that those rules are which are against bhakti that you just need don't need to have to leave that you just have to leave that don't do that like shravan kirtan these are all the vidhi which are told by guru varg pure guru vishnu and just be careful about this like i'll be just giving one example like shravan kirtan this is a vidhi this is vidhi shravan kirtan we have to do but shravan kirtan definitely we have to do when he is doing that is actually anukulya for bhakti but if you are in our our life standard and our enjoying mood it is against krishna bhakti then we have to leave that in the shastras also it is written that uh, which is satisfactory for krishna if you are just uh, leaving all kind of enjoying mood in your life then you have to leave that everything you have to leave if you have this which are that is nished which is not at all good you have to leave that krishna bhagwan ka that uh, for just for satisfaction of krishna whatever enjoying mood your material desires whatever is there if you are just uh, leaving that quitting that that is uh, anukulya of bhakti and i will just tell you one nished that bhagwan shri krishna always have to remember shri krishna always have to uh, remember guru vishnu bhagwan if you will just remember guru vishnu bhagwan definitely everything will uh, get destroyed from the pathway of bhakti bhakti bolak teeth all maharaj always used to speak this point always used to speak this point that guru vishnu bhagwan always you have bigno binasan anahase hoy nijo panchit karon panchit kya hai what is vanchit vanchit is bhakti aur ek bataya and another point uh, i'll tell you one example bhagwan shri krishna like always we have to remember dham naam and guru vishnu and krishna chintan remembering them this is very important that is the actual uh, uh, points writ, uh, written in the shastra so always at all the time if we are just remembering guru vishnu and bhagwan that is vidhi and all the time not to just uh, and uh, not to forget guru vishnu and bhagwan that is nished vidhi means always have to remember guru vishnu bhagwan and nished means not to um, leave guru vishnu at at the end antime krishna smriti hi antime antime narayana smriti 
in the end only if you are just if you are not getting the remembrance of bhagwan whatever bhajan you have done in your whole life at the end at the time of that if you are not remembering krishna if you are not getting remembrance of krishna at that time then what is that remembrance of use that definitely will come if whole life you are just uh, correct bhajan under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav under the anugatya of guru vaishnav definitely it will come that remembrance will definitely come 100% it will come that smaran will come remembrance will come so this vidhi and nished that is only that is the same point only one point that is a one center point and with this center point there is one vidhi and one nished one vidhi what is that always have to remember bhagwan guru vaishnav all the time and nished means not to forget bhagwan that's it this is the center point this is one nished and one vidhi and you don't need to with this uh, the whole shastras are just discussing about this you have to do you have to do this you don't need to do this you have to do this it's so in the month of uh, kartik in the paran also why actually all persons are eating this and this and this okay just eating already i have already told you about that what to eat what not to eat I, you have actually uh, heard and just learned that but that is not the top most thing but the persons are always thinking actually this eating actually in our mat actually gurudev also you should be you can eat but actually he is speaking you can eat that so all fighting going on but actual bhakti what is there it is all actually they are just fighting with each other just on eating that this is very important to eat this this not to eat this have to eat this not to eat so they are just fighting on eating that's it <laughs> they are just eating on the fighting mode that's but actual thing bhakti is gone all in water bhakti vinod thakur actually in the chaturmasya vrat in the article of chaturmasya have just told and after that uh, he has written all and this is not the biggest point the topmost biggest point is that that is the biggest point that how i we can just uh, withdraw our mind from material desires and we can just uh, make it connected with bhagwan and that is the topmost vital point i am just taking one time food in kartik okay you are taking and you are just sleeping 10 times in the bed foolish number 1 this is not the thing if you are eating you just take four times i am just giving four times food to you but just show bhakti if you are just taking one time food uh, you just take food but just show bhakti then only this they are all going in food eating and bhakti no thakur at the end speaking that is a, the top most wish is that how much we are getting uh, bhakti and remembrance onto lotus feet of krishna what kind of bhakti we have got and other rules are also there but if we are not following we have to follow those but just to follow those rules is uh, the top most thing that is okay that is not a big thing so all these things actually i have just told that what are actually bhakti goal and what you have to just uh, go against bhakti you have to just uh, quit that gurudev also used to speak one point that is not at all good even you are forgetting bhagwan and always have to remember bhagwan all the time you have to that is called vidhi and just not to forget bhagwan that is nished all these vidhi mini vidhi nished whatever chaturmasya whatever it is whatever vrata is there of the whole world that is the basic point here that if this basic point we are not uh, getting uh, siddh in our life then wh- what we will do by doing tapasya definitely i'll be discussing it tomorrow what i will do by doing tapasya if i am not getting bhakti what i will do by doing tapasya so everything i have to do for satisfaction of krishna i had it is not for me so this vidhi and nished actually everything even you are doing shravan kirtan it is vidhi and and whatever enjoying mood you are just leaving that is called nished and sang tyag i have already told i have already just described you about this sang tyag that all kind of uh, satsang you have to tyag all this women association those who are doing women association you also have to quit his association 
means that those who are yashit yashit those who are actually kamani yashat going after money going after women and pratishtha yashit all kind of different yashit this is called sangat yagat this is very in depth analysis about sangat yagat very in depth you can't even understand you at what point it will go very difficult to understand so everything he will get uh, you know leave that and whatever uh, lo- lot of people who are going lot of pratishtha they are going after that they will also get arrested but where they will get that we persons will get whole world will get this point a lot of people are there in this material world in uh, you will just uh, figure it out they can understand this point all foolishness madness i have all preaching going on they are going hyder thyder way instability is there they are actually just following pratishtha yashit kamini yashit kanchan yashit just uh, collecting more and more money they are just uh, yashit sanghi they are just taking their uh, giving everything on to their lotus feet if they are just want to do that okay let them die what i can do so sangat yaga this a very uh, in depth uh, discussion is there which kind of sang you have to leave and adharmik nirvisheshwadi mayavadi you have to leave their association their nastik those who are not believing in god and all those yashit sang ki kamni yashit kanchan yashit aur pratishtha yashit all you have to leave and practically all the more are there like those who are doing women association and those who are actually association of that women associated person and he are just getting material uh, uh, grasp a uh, grasp life he is just getting material uh, opulence and he just getting attracted to material desires if you are just getting more attraction towards that um, uh, one woman then it means you are just uh, yashit sanghi and you are also doing the association of a non devotee who is not at all devotee of krishna he is actually mayavadi material then you have to leave their association it comes in the category of sangtyag if i will just speak of that our whole hairs of our head everything will fall off that's why bhakti is so rare it is not a feeling of enjoyment that all the our hair on our head everything will go off so in depth discussion is there analysis is there it will uh, automatically happen if he will become paramhans so all this actually this comes in the category of sangatyag so oh my god shatavritti matlab and shatavritti means uh, whatever we the sadachar of sadugan whatever anushthan they are doing whatever doing their bhakti they are doing whatever naam sankirtan they are doing and they are doing jap and they are doing some puja they are doing some harikatha kirtan with full enthusiastic mood what is that that is shuk what is actually shukla vritti and sata vritti it all comes in this and and whatever the pure acharan we are just uh, uh, seeing that just understand that and just need to follow that in our life that is called sadhu vritti i have already seen i have someone say i have seen actually gurudev in the morning used to used to do lot of mala in the night time and after that taking bath i have seen he always used to doing different different kind of archan by just closing his eyes and after doing some different different stuti and so nice nice with prema just uh, asking krishna to come and whatever water he used to take actually beta actually you just uh, take some jagannath prasadam every day gurudev used to speak so just by seeing this he, we can see so pure gurudev is when gurudev used to be going to the bathroom at the night time two to three times actually used to go to bathroom in the night time because he is so much aged so i have to take him into the bathroom at that time in the winter time gurudev after that uh, give me water give me water some i have used to give water are you just give uh, water on my feet no no it's very cold water are give 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 more water we have to remove it no you just give me more water i have just uh, learned all this how to do achman you have to just uh, wash your hands and feet and what kind of sudhachari you has to follow with very hidden thing he has told me that oh baba sparsh dosh is the topmost uh, dosh in bengali he used told me that sparsh dosh is the topmost dosh 
स्पर्श दोष वॉट इज दैट एक्चुअली स्पर्श दिस इज दोष इज द टॉप मोस्ट दोष वेन एक्चुअली वेन आई जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट एक्चुअली गुरुदेव टोल्ड मी दैट इज द एक्चुअल ट्रूथ स्पर्श दोष इज द टॉप मोस्ट थिंग सो इट मीन्स विद स्पर्श दोष यू जस्ट नीड टू गेट प्रोटेक्टेड दैट इज शुद्ध गुरु वैष्णव वाचरण दे शो टोल्ड दैट इज अ वेरी सीक्रेट विच आर इफ सम वन यू गोइंग टू द हाउस ऑफ सम वन यू जस्ट सिटिंग ऑन द यू आर जस्ट सिटिंग ऑन द सोफा दैट इज कॉल्ड स्पर्श दो सो माई कंप्यूटर मैन ऑल्सो इन कल ना आई ऑल्सो यूज टू गो यू मारा जिस भी जस्ट सिट है आई एक्चुअली नॉट सिटिंग दई वॉज जस्ट ऑलवेज स्टैंडिंग सो वेयर यू विल सिट आई विल इफ यू कैन जस्ट ब्रिंग द प्लास्टिक चेयर और वुडन चेयर दिस इज एक्चुअली गुड महाराज यू कैन जस्ट सिट है नो नो आई कैंट सिट है देन ही विल जस्ट टेक द प्लास्टिक चेयर एंड देन आई यूज टू सिट बिकॉज दे डोंट नो एक्चुअली दैट आई एम नॉट स्पीकिंग दिस दैट दे आर ऑल रबिश पीपल आई इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दे आर ऑल रबिश दे आर ऑल गुड बट दे बट दे डोंट हैव दिस पॉइंट इन देयर माइंड दे डोंट हैव दिस मच एंटेंशन दैट वॉट विल हैपन एट वॉट टाइम दैट हाउ टू मेनटेन दिस प्योरिटी दे डोंट नो means that sometimes i am coming in the boat if some person is coming from a crematorium ground and he is just uh, in, bo- in boat every person is there and his one person is coming from crematorium and one coming from hospital and uh, one is just uh, getting uh, giving birth to the child he just went from here from maternity hall and what i will do nobody knows actually about this point if uh, someone actually he is actually eating some fish or meat and he has not doing any achman and washed his feet and hands and if i am just living with all uh, the people then up till what point i will go you can guru ji actually have told that sparsh dosh is the topmost dosh is a very topmost dosh beta anything can happen oh yes so actually so in depth uh, vichar is there if i will just speak hari bhakti vilas you will just stop hearing hari katha <laughs> if i will just speak about hari uh, hari bhakti vilas you so difficult to follow but still actually if i'll stop it is good for you only <laughs> okay no worries so just to take the sadachar of sadhu is very important we have to just uh, take the sadachar of sadhu and uh, tomorrow i will just definitely discuss uh, how renounced people are just uh, taking uh, bhiksha food and uh, grasth vyakti actually i will just be what i have already told it just because the time is less i can't uh, speak uh, any more i have to just give rest here so suti siti puran aadi panchrakti vidhi mina oi kanti ke hare bhakti कल्पते कल्पते के पास पावन भो नमो